in the Game of Thrones photo shoot spoiled season 7, we're getting to the bottom of it on today's Nerdist News. Last month, our thirsty, thirsty selves were treated to a cool drink of Game of Thrones via the official Season 7 trailer. And as we get closer to the beginning of the end of the series, we can't help but look back fondly at all of the good times, <laughs> all two of them, and the bad times, and the bloody times, and remember old friends as they reappear. That's why we were delighted to see an old friend grace the cover of Entertainment Weekly alongside our favorite little killer, Arya Stark. Of course, we're not talking about one of the other Stark kids, we're talking about that dagger Arya is sporting in the cover photo. Now many folks on the internet noticed the seemingly small detail, as did we. So what could Arya be doing with Littlefinger's dagger? And though there are theories spinning around that her being in possession of it means that Baelish is dead, we have our own theory as to what this this very special Blade's reappearance could mean. So let's break down all the reasons why the Valerian Steel photobomb in the Stark family portrait could reveal surprising Season 7 details. First, take a look at that distinctive pointy handle. It's the very same dragon bone handle as the Cat Spa's dagger that was used in the Season 1 attempt to kill Bran after the first stab at snuffing him out didn't quite do the trick. The dagger was last seen at Littlefinger's brothel in King's Landing when Lady Stark went on a secret trip there to warn Ned about the Lannister's failed hit job on his son. So if Arya has the blade now in Season 7, how did she get it and where did it go between Season 1 and now? We're looking at a few different possibilities here. According to the books, Catelyn gave the knife to Ned for safekeeping since she thought it was evidence that the Lannisters had sent the assassin after Bran. Littlefinger then stole the knife back from him when Joffrey took the throne, but in the small screen version, the knife ends its on-screen journey in Baelish's brothel in King's Landing. If we assume that Catelyn Stark kept the blade with her, it could have ended up either at the Eyrie or at the Red Wedding. But we think these are unlikely destinations for the knife. We don't see any clear way Arya would have come across the knife during her own journeys. So we think the blade stayed in King's Landing, either with Ned Stark or with Littlefinger. Now it's possible that after hearing that Baelish lost the knife in a bet with Lord Tyrion, Catelyn could have felt the need to return it to its original owner. However, it's more likely that Ned Stark kept the blade as he did in the books, which would have made it very easy for Littlefinger to obtain the knife after Ned's arrest and subsequent beheading. So either way, we think that Baelish has been holding on to the dagger since season one, and he's the person Arya will get it from one way or another. And of course, given Arya's violent nature, it's tempting to assume that one way will involve a whole lot of stabby stabby. But then again, despite being a pretty big dick to the Stark fam, Littlefinger has never actually made it onto Arya's Kill Bill list. In fact, even though his scheming pretty much sets the entire events of Game of Thrones in motion, he's managed to keep most of it under wraps and his reputation more or less intact. And that's why we're guessing Littlefinger actually gifts the dagger to Arya once the little assassin finally reunites with the rest of her family, or what's left of her family, in Winterfell. <laughs> <laughs> We've already seen Littlefinger wedge himself between the Starks by attempting to pit Sansa against Jon, and we could definitely see him try to do the same thing with Arya. And what better way to gain her confidence than by gifting her the blade that was used to almost kill her brother? Of course, that's not to say that she won't eventually use it against him. You don't cross Arya Stark unless you want to end up as a pie. Or maybe some other food, like Littlefinger sandwiches, perhaps. So dainty, with my tea. But what do you guys think? Will there be an Arya Littlefinger team up in season seven? Is there more than one Cat Spa's dagger? And what food would you turn Littlefinger into? Let's discuss. And did you know that Wonder Woman's comic book sword can cut through anything? It is true. And Kyle Hill's got an all new because science breaking down the Amazonian goddess's weapon. And if you haven't seen our tribute to Wonder Woman, you definitely should go watch it right now because it is awesome and basically my dream come true. Be sure to like and subscribe and keep checking Nerdist.com.